What is the performance difference between the Tesla Model 3s? We're gonna find out because I'm in a Tesla Model 3 long range. Next to me is a Tesla Model 3 performance. And next to that is a Tesla Model 3 standard range plus. And we're gonna have a drag race. Let me tell you about these cars. Now this is actually the previous generation Model 3 long range, but apparently they haven't changed any of the battery or the motors. It has a 75 kilowatt hour battery, two electric motors, one at the front, one at the back. Combined, you have 367 horsepower and 510 newton meters of torque. It weighs in at around 1,850 kilos and new, a long range will cost you 47,000 pounds. Now the performance next to me, that is the new version. And they have tweaked that slightly. Apparently it's got Panasonic batteries and the battery pack now is 80 kilowatt hours. There or thereabouts. It weighs in about the same as this car, 1,850 kilos. It's more expensive though, 57,000 pounds. And you're paying for the performance. Once again, motor on the front axle, motor on the rear axle. Combined though, they produce 457 horsepower and 660 newton meters of torque. Moving on to the standard range plus. So it has just one electric motor, it's at the back, drives the rear wheels. It produces 296 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. It is lighter though, it weighs in at just over 1600 kilos. That's because it has a smaller battery pack, around 50 kilowatt hours. It's the cheapest though just over 40,000 pounds. Anyway, we're gonna see what happens in this drag race over the standing quarter mile. Before we do though, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single upload. Now these Teslas have been supplied to me by a chap called Richard Simons and he's got an EV channel on YouTube. It's called RSEV. Cunningly named, yes, I know what you're thinking. And he does lots of different tests between Teslas, real geeky stuff. I put a link to his channel in the description so you can go check that out if you want to. Let's do this. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Before we start this drag race, we're going to do the customary CarWow sound test. So I'm going to rev my Tesla up first. So here we go. That's fairly nice, that is. So can you rev up the performance? And now finally, let's hear the standard range plus. Now, which one do you think sounded the best? Let us know in the comments below. Let's go on with this race. Actually, before we do, I should point out we've got the cars in exactly the same settings. Standard acceleration or sport for the performance model. That's what it's called there. Steering mode standard, regenerative braking standard and stopping mode hold a no track mode and no slip start. Got 90% battery, similar for the other cars. Let's do it. I wasn't in drive. <laughs> that was a bit like we're taking the piss out of the standard range plus. I actually wasn't in drive. I did floor the throttle, but it went nowhere because I'm not in drive. How about you in the performance? Yeah, guilty. That is a <laughs> Don't tell him. You can tell who's the professional racing driver out of the three of us, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> He's not so quick off the line this time. <laughs> That's interesting. Standard range plus got absolutely smashed. Difference between the three performance and the long range, not that much. Racing driver in the standard range plus. Were you napping that time? What I did was I went when his hands went down, not beforehand. No, as soon as the hands start moving down. We're gonna show an action replay. See if we were on the money and he wasn't. Yeah, let us know in the comments. He actually is a proper racing driver. Do you want another little go? I demand another little go. That three does just step away. It really does. But the difference between this and the three performance really is nothing compared to these two dual motor cars and a single motor car. How was your start that time racing driver in the standard range plus? I moved at exactly the same point as you two, but then I just got left in the dust. 
And the three performance did the business. It's quicker for sure. Maybe at the rolling speed, we won't see so much difference. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Model 3 performance did the standing quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. The long range model took 12.2 seconds and the standard range plus came last, crossing the line in 13.8 seconds. Now we're going to have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the pickup with the Sun Range Plus it isn't such a big deal. Especially at legal speeds. And now the difference between the Model 3 Performance and this long range, once you go in, oh, get some energy back into the battery. So that was interesting. I don't think the Standard Range Plus was quite so humiliated there. It stuck with me okay at first, but then as the speeds climbed, it did start to drop back. But really that was once we were past 70 miles an hour. Same with the Model 3 Performance. You just took the jump on me straight away. It dumped its power down quickly. But after that initial leap forward, you weren't really pulling on me. I agree, I could see in the mirror that you seem to be right there, not pulling away at all. So it's almost like it gives you all the power up first and then it soon tails off and you're at the same place, really. Let's try something else. Let's do the same thing again, but from 50 miles an hour this time. You ready, guys? Three, two, one, go. It just eases ahead. I think I'm coming past you. I'm going to come past the performance. I'm coming past him. What is going on here? Whoa, whoa. Snaking under braking. It don't like braking. Oh my God. That was all over the road. Brake temperature high. <laughs> it's not surprising. The car basically went <laughs> snaking all over the place. Sun Range Plus, you were in it for quite a lot longer that time, weren't you? I was really on you guys. But then just towards the end of it, where you started to get 100 plus, it started to fall back a little bit. The interesting thing though was the performance. You leapt ahead again, but I can't believe I came past you. I was pushing the accelerator as hard as I can. I don't know what else I could have done. Now let's do the same thing again, but let's do it from 70 miles an hour. This one is for the Germans because we would not do more than this in the UK. Okay, three, two, one, yeah, Autobahn style. And now there's nothing. There's nothing in it. From the get go between the performance and this. And now I'm just smashing him. That is just bizarre. The performance didn't even leap ahead then. You were pulling away. I couldn't have done any more to push this pedal harder. Very interesting. And what about that standard range plus? Because it wasn't so far behind then either, were you? No, I guess it wasn't. Worth noting, you can buy a performance upgrade for the long range, and it would be even closer to this off the line, and God knows what at the top end. That's interesting, and that's something we should probably do in the future. Let me know if you'd like to see that video, and we'll try and set it up in the comments. Last thing to do, it's almost pointless, but we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. My car's already complained about its brakes being a little bit hot, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Hopefully, as I approach the line, they're cooling down, because all the air's going around them. So, I don't know if that's the case with these aero wheels where they stop the air getting to the brakes. Yay! Not too surprising. The lighter car stopped in the shorter distance. Us two, we weigh the same. Well, the cars do anyway, Richard. Um, <laughs> but I did stop in a shorter distance. Could that be to do with the tyres? You've got Pirellis, I've got Michelins. There's so little in it, it's possibly reaction time, but I have to say today I'm not particularly favouring these pearlies. They're not doing me any favours or justice at the moment. That was actually a surprising outcome. I thought that the performance would just walk every single thing, but it hasn't done. I thought it was supposed to have performance brakes. Doesn't the performance have performance brakes? Yes. <laughs> it's not really living up to its name performance unless you're talking about drag racing, and then it does. Other than that, though, oh dear. <laughs>